20 years. 20 years. 20 years of professional skateboarding. 20 years out on the road. I've seen it all. I've skated it all. It's no accident that I'm still involved, still participating after all this time. I chose to remain active. I chose to put myself out there. I've always believed in the power of skateboarding. I've always felt strongly about sharing and promoting skateboarding. But it hasn't always been an easy road. There have been some hard and slim times. There have been some times when it seemed everything was lined up against me. There have been times when I walked out on a limb alone with all the axes swinging. Fallen. I've fallen. I've failed. I've been banned and blacklisted. I've been sold out and shunned. I've been denounced and disrespected. There are moments I regret. There are moments I wish I could take back. There are moments that haunt my brain. I've failed. I've fallen. Still I pick myself back up. Still I go on. Still I go on. Still I believe. 20 years of professional skateboarding and I still love skateboarding as much as the day I started. 20 years of my passion for skating only burns hotter. It's no accident I'm still out here. I chose to be here. I choose to remain out here. I will never give up.
when I skate these demos, you know, falling is part of my skating, and uh, falling and getting up is, you know, there's there's some drama that's built up in these things. So I go down all hard all the time, and and part of the show, if you will, which isn't, it's not manufactured in any way, but it, it uh, it's just part of what I do is. I go down hard and, and people rally for me to get back up and keep going. And I feed off that energy. And when I fell, the people in attendance were, you know, banging their boards, clapping their hands, screaming for me, you know, you know, giving me the Mike V chance. Mike V, Mike V, Mike V. And I couldn't get up. my back and I went to sit up and my foot just kind of flopped over like a dead fish and that's when I knew it was really bad so I laid back down and called my guys over to uh, you know tell them hey just broke my ankle you need to call you know 911 get an ambulance over here I need to go to the hospital and they were like get an ambulance because generally you know a broken bone isn't really worthy of an ambulance in, in the world I, I live in anyway and uh, they were kind of shocked by that, but I told them, like, look, this thing's pretty bad. It needs to be stabilized. I didn't want to just try and hobble up and get in the car and go over there myself. I felt like I needed, you know, proper medical attention. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a bit of bad news. Mike V has broken his ankle. and is going to be heading to the hospital. Get Mike! My immediate thought was, you know, I just felt really bad that this demo had just gotten started and uh, I felt like I was letting the skaters down that came out to see me ride. And that really bothers me, you know. Mike, uh have a broken ankle with a torn ligament. You're being seen today to uh, get you ready for your surgery tomorrow. Basically the incision is going to be to the outside part of your ankle where this bone is broken and I'm going to be putting in a, a plate and screws fixing this uh, this bone called the fibula. Is it broken yeah. all the way through or? It's uh, basically it's a, a spiral fracture. It starts up there oh, and okay, it comes yeah, all okay, the way I down to here. This yeah. is where it ends. And uh, as you can see over here, the space here is widened also, and you have a ligament here called the deltoid ligament that's also torn. The space should be the same all the way around, and you can see it's increased here. So together, combined, uh, that's the reason why we're doing the surgery. What's the time frame as far as it healing and me rehabbing and then getting back on my board? The plate and the screws basically hold the break from the inside. Uh, we still have to give uh, your bones a chance to heal. Mm -hmm. That will take about six weeks. First thing that went through my head was, okay, I get some time off. You know, I've been I've been going very hard for many many years, and uh, and I'm not one to like say no to any opportunities that come up because I love what I do. I love getting out there. I love sharing my skating. I love participating. So any opportunity to do that, I'm on it. And which makes for a very busy schedule and a very busy life. And being a husband and a father, uh, my time split pretty, pretty severely because of what I do for a living. However, on the other hand, uh, it's no secret, I'm not getting any younger. And uh, two of my favorite skaters, two of my heroes in skating, uh, both, uh, I wouldn't say their careers were ended by broken ankles. But uh, you know, it's not a, it's not, it's not a minor thing, especially the severity of this, of the break. Trade. That's right. Oh, I feel so much better already. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh geez, this thing is swollen, man. Uh, Mike, here are your uh, ankle x rays, and uh, as you can see, uh, you've got a plate here and you've got eight screws, 
This is probably the most important screw right here. Uh, that's the first one that we placed. And these other ones act as a buttress uh, holding it together. Th this is the space we were talking about before your right. surgery. And uh, you can see how it's nicely brought it back uh, mm -hmm. together again. Yeah. For me, the x-ray and seeing the actual wounds, it's a little more sobering than, <laughs> than I planned on, <laughs> you know. Sure. Just like you can, you, when you see the screws and the plays, you see the reality of the damage, you know. Exactly. You it know? just kind of drives it home. That, yeah. Uh, things you know about yourself to be true, saying, well, you can pull through this, no problem. But then you actually see like a plate and screws and you go, oh, man. It's like, damn, man. But, you know, okay, well, I mean, I think I, I, I feel better talking to you about it anyway. Just looking at it is kind of hideous. In talking to the doctor, the, you know, what comes out of that is just having an understanding of where, you, where you're at and what you have to do to get back to where you were. So, um, you know, sobering, a little bit of so, a little sobering, yeah, for sure. Definitely sobering news. But, uh, but you know, that's... That's the starting point of getting better is like, okay, realizing your situation and then realizing what you have to do to get back to where you were. Physical therapy was a tough but necessary process. There was so much damage to the bone, ligaments, soft tissue and nerves from the fall, and then atrophy of the muscles from being in a cast, that I basically had to start over. Progress was slow, nothing came easy, and it became apparent that it would be a long recovery, regardless of how hard I worked or how positive I was about it. had no ability to roll, which is a necessary movement for the most basic and important skate maneuver, the ollie. We worked on this movement intensely, customizing exercises with the hope of recapturing the range of motion necessary to ride a skateboard. Probably been the, the biggest thing that's held me back in my progress is uh, you know just breaking through all that scar tissue that's there and you know I have a, basically I have a brand new ankle anyway I mean I've got a plate and eight screws in it it's two times the size it used to be and it's never going to be it's never going to go back to the size it was um, it doesn't work the same way it doesn't respond the same way so I, in some regards I've had to learn to skate all over again on this ankle. Something that had once been second nature to me now required effort, concentration, and thought. My confidence is still intact for the most part. It wavers slightly, but usually only as a response to physical pain from pushing myself too hard. So I'm waiting. I'm skating, working out, staying positive and confident, and waiting. This is, uh, this is what I feel like I was born to do, you know? Get on the road, tour, uh, share skating, uh, perform, put on a show. It's, it's, what, I, it's what I love, it's, it's who I am. So uh, it's been a major, you know, a major goal of mine to get back out here. You know, I couldn't be happier that I'm, that I'm doing it. 
And, you know, it's like one of those things. It's like it's always looming, though. You know, any second, I could have another injury. I could re-injure the same ankle. I mean, who knows what's going to happen, you know? This is life. This is the way life is. Life's going to throw things at you, you know? And uh, it's not it's not the falling down that's that matters. It's the getting up that's important. This will be uh, this will be my first time skating a demo of any kind, any kind of performance since uh, since last November when I broke my ankle. And uh, I really don't know what to expect. I definitely don't feel 100 percent, but uh, there's enough people here to try and get past that and put on the best show possible. So let's go for it. satisfied when you know you can skate better and something physical is holding you back. Uh, sometimes it can be such a mental trip when you have some sort of physical ailment and then you start head tripping about that too. But uh, I gotta say being in New Jersey and having a, a, a supportive crowd, it helped, it helped. Uh, I guess this is the start man, this is the start of, uh, Stay great, of me working Jersey myself back rocks. into what I love to do and what I'm best at, and that's putting on a show. And I hope, I hope I have many more years of coming out here and skating for people and getting them excited about skateboarding. It means everything to me, and uh, I'm just gonna keep digging deep. I know I can skate better. I know I, I know I'm gonna physically get better. I know I got a long way to go, but I'm going there. I'm going there for sure. In this life, we all fall down. We suffer our setbacks and hardships. Nothing comes easy, and no one said that it would. Skateboarding taught me early on 
to accept this adversity as part of the challenge of life. If I can take falls on my skateboard, get back up and keep progressing, then I can take on anything life throws my way. And I have. I don't know if my ankle will ever be 100%. I do know that I will work hard and do whatever it takes to get back to where I was and beyond. And if I never get there, well, the journey is the important thing. We all fall down. We all suffer our setbacks and hardships. You only lose if you refuse to get back up. You only lose if you quit on yourself. <laughs>